Hi, my loves. So now we are off to do some Fendi shopping. Now I've been really interested in checking out the Fendi I see you in the petite size, and boy, did this store have a lot of options. So on this table here, you can see a mixture of exotics, plain leathers, weaves. Really, really love this selection. And I especially love Lizard, as you guys know. And also this is the interlace one, which is really interesting because you can wear it two different ways, as you can see here. A very special one is definitely this one here, which is in Stingray. I don't think that there's any other company besides Bulgari that does Stingray. So that was really interesting too. So this is the interlace. Okay, black on black is a bit hard to see. But on one side, it is full on like laced. And the other side is just sort of like the piping, which I really like because it's almost like two bags in one. So that's the small size. It also comes in the medium. Here is just the regular peekaboo, which is gorgeous as well. Here are some of the bucket bags, just in the you know new sequins and in the what's this looks like embroidered material <laughs> canvas. I'm not even sure. I don't know the names of this, but very cute and then we've got some of the I don't know the name of this is this the sunshine I think this is the sunshine tote but in the smaller size with the tortoiseshell handles and that's the bigger size and then the one that is a north-south one this is the hobo which is cute but I don't think it's that user-friendly for me and then let me show you their newest bag. Okay, so this is the latest bag, which is called the Come On. Like, come apostrophe, no, C apostrophe. This is in beautiful smooth lambskin, but I was told it is pretty delicate, so just be warned. But you can wear it different ways, really versatile. And then they've got the monogram version, which is so cute. Look at this little one. And then you can even wear this as a little belt bag too, or just as a tinsy winnie micro micro bag. I have never seen this, so it'll be good to try that on as well. Sequin baguette. You know I love this, but I was a bit upset with mine, but I love it how they pair it with the little baby version. That's cute. Okay, so here's some of the ready to wear. And the essay was showing me this really interesting piece. I don't think it has my size, but it's like pants. You can detach this skirt bit, which is very, very interesting, very different. So let me just go around. I mean, Fendi makes some great clothes. I don't usually buy that much Fendi, but that's not to say I won't. And I have a very funny story for you guys. The essay that's assisting me here is one of our family. And it's really funny because I remember uh, he gave me recommendations for Paris. And when I came in, he recognized me immediately. And I've spoken with him through DMs and he's so lovely. So if you're in Munich, go see Christian because he is amazing. Okay, you know me, I love my bling. Look at these. Oh wow, they're quite heavy. I love my sparkle. These are so comfortable, these shoes. The Calibris. And now they just come in so many variations from sequins to velvet to a mix of lace and velvet. And But no, this one is not the Fendi first. I forgot what it's called. But yeah, I really do like the heel, how it's got the upside down F. That's really nice. Oh, it comes in the lace interlace version too. And then of course with the mink, I know not everyone's a fan of mink, but it is very soft. Okay, for all my guy followers, here are some of their sneakers. I own these, the Fendi Flows in the sort of like beigey colorway, but of course they've got the men's version as well, which they are very comfortable. I can attest to that. I didn't even know that Fendi did like trunks. And then these are sort of like their hard sided bags. If you like that, that's quite cute too.
Okay, well, Christian has brought out a whole range of bags that he thinks I may like. And we are going to go through why he brought each out because a lot of them are quite new to me. So the most um, famous bag is, of course, the baguette, baguette. and the peekaboo. Yes. So I brought some of these. Here we have a very nicely beaded one. It's mm. still from the 25th anniversary collection in this oh, yes. gorgeous yellow. And it has these smaller beads and these bigger beads all over. It's definitely very different. Then, as I like, you like red. And yes. red is a lucky color in Chinese culture. We have this satin one. I think it's a really stunning piece. So the handle is lizard. Oh. No, it's snake, sorry. This one is snake. And it has these Swarovski crystals and this very nice shine. Yes, it does. So That's nice. And it's a really stunning it evening very, bag. It is very stunning. As the baguette had also this collaboration with Tiffany, this yes. one is the foam baguette in not exactly the Tiffany color, but it was very similar. It was launched to complement the Tiffany collaboration. collaboration. Yeah. So it's not part of the 25th anniversary like that other These Tiffany are all 25th oh, these anniversary. Oh, they are all 25th, okay. But this is not technically Tiffany, Tiffany. but the color is very similar. similar. Yeah, and this was very, very um, requested. So I still have one piece I wanted to show you. Thank and you. it's very handy because it fits perfectly a phone. It has already a card slot included. Yes, it's quite so, cute. And lipstick and you're off to go. So it's a baguette for a smaller budget. Yes. In a nice color. In a nice color. That is a very pretty color. <laughs> then, if you want to go for a more brighter color, mm -hmm. I brought this one. It's from the current fall winter collection in this right. nice fuchsia. And this is the Fendi Graffy. It's more a standout piece, I would say. But mm. the price one is quite good. It's 1,650 euros. Oh, it is good. And yeah, I think for a smaller price point, you can also risk a very... A bit of, color. yeah, I get a pop of color so, when it's a small yeah. bag. And this is a new size, so initially we only had none, and small, and this is in between. Right? Oh, mini. It's mini. much more practical. I feel, that's why I don't think I've ever gone for the other one, because I felt like one was too tiny. Not that the other one is too big, but it's bigger, so I'm glad that they came out with the mini size. Exactly, so this is mini in between none and small, mm. and we have it in several colors. Yeah, this is a seasonal color, and I think it's really nice. Beautiful pop of If you wear it with matching lipstick. I know. It's very, it's very, bar it's a Barbie bag. Yes, yes. <laughs> then I brought some Fendi First. The Fendi First was the first bag introduced by Kim Jones. And here I have one in full pipe and it's very nice nude color. Mm. I think it also goes with lots of neutrals, black, Beautiful. white, cream. You can't go wrong with the neutral. No. Yes. And really like this color. I hope the camera can catch it. Yes. Then one of my personal favorites, Fendi is fur and fur is Fendi. So we, of course we also have the Fendi first and mink. and mink. And a big advantage is you don't have to worry about scratches. Yes. You can carry it without being afraid. You will not have any marks. Mm. Yeah. Yes. It's your little super soft. Very soft. We have yes. different colors, but I think the brown suits you the best. Then we also have from the interlace collection the Fendi first. I yes. find it also very pretty and Usually the Fendi first are all in lamb skin. Mm. This one is in calf skin and also due to the texture it's not super delicate because yeah. even if there is a scratch it gets lost with the texture exactly. I think. So exactly. this is also one of my recommendations. Yes. Christian knows that I love sort of like textured bags. I love weave and wicker. Not that this is weave and wicker but it has that kind of effect because of the woven texture of the calf skin. Here we have a bigger version. This is the peekaboo also from the interlace collection. One yes. side is completely with the interlace. One side only the edges. So yes. we have some clients who say this will be my winter side. This is my summer side. I know. I love that you can wear it two ways. So this is another cool. nice yes. piece. Then I brought some exotics. Mm. Here, the stingray, which I showed you downstairs. Yes, very special. The lizard in the natural shaded colorway. Yes. With gold hardware. Everyone knows lizard is my favorite exotic, <laughs> so that's a beautiful recommendation. Then I have this one in ostrich. And I love ostrich too. <laughs> the cool thing about ostrich also, it doesn't need situs, as I told yes, you. Yes, the situs. And it's yeah. in two colors because ostrich also tans over time a little bit it will reveal a uh, natural patina, patina yeah. and that's why the handle has a darker color than the mm. rest of the bag and also the strap because these are the two parts that you use the most yes 
and I actually so, like that it's a like two colors. It's like it's almost like an SO special order, isn't it? <laughs> exactly. Right. <laughs> exactly. And also, it has ruthenium hardware, which we rarely have. Like that's we have true. Actually, no single bag in the store with ruthenium except this one. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, because I know most of the time yours is gold first, and or then silver. silver. Mm. With the Celeria line, it's the with grain leather and stitching. It's mostly silver because it's more sporty. Right. But most bags with smooth leather come with um, gold. come with the gold with yeah. the yeah. Then I also have a Peekaboo Iconic yep. with some stitching detailing That's on the edges and well. also the handle is very that, that nice. That colour is gorgeous. Yeah. Then I have another Petite Peekaboo in this gorgeous ostrich in this pink colour with silver hardware. Pretty. And of course the Queen no, no, this for is Mel in Melbourne. <laughs> Queen. <laughs> wow. We have the Petite in the natural shaded Crocodile. Oh my goodness. And something that sets Fendi apart in terms of exotics, often our exotics come with a steel handle. Oh my goodness. And it is a very nice textured it steel. Is. And it's That's done nice. with a tool that has a diamond on the head. So it's very really durable. Very nicely done. Mm. And you don't have to be afraid of yeah, nice part transfer or anything because it's just steel. Yes, yeah, so this is Crocodile. If and it's crocodile, you can tell it's got a little dot in the middle, as opposed to exactly. alligator. It looks a little bit different, the skin. Mm. This is Niloticus. Niloticus, yes. yes. And you even have this effect on the on buckle. The, yeah, buckle. Very nice. Piece. Very nice. And we have two more in ostrich. The Peekaboo I see you in a I small size. I see you size. in a small. And I think this is also a very nice color because Depending on light, it can have a small pinky undertone. Sometimes mm. it's more sand, more gray. Mm. Can go with lots of outfits. Yes. Does that come in the petite size? That color, no. Okay. Only in that small. But, but I love this color. It's, it's like a chameleon. It is like a chameleon. I like that as well. And we have this very dark, dark blue. Dark navy as well. I prefer ostrich in the, I don't know, in the lighter colors, I think. What do you think? Between these, between these two, I also would go for, for that, that one. one. Perfect. Okay. Oh my goodness. He's made it very hard for me. <laughs> hey, this is cute. Much cuter on than I thought. It's nice. And mm. many different colors. But this is the I most special, it, yeah. That one is the most special because it has this association with the Tiffany drop. Yes. But they did it come in the Tiffany color in the pouch like this too? No, but the classic medium baguette yes, came they also in satin. The color is a little bit different, but it was the medium size. But this is and gorgeous. It was 4,200 euros. Ah, oh, this, this is only... the phone baguette in a very similar color, and it's 1,100, I think. That's good. Kim Jones, as yes. the new designer, we have introduced some staples and this for example is the go-to jacket mm. which is available with the regular collection in this black, in this white color. Look at the sort of like... And it has the leather pocket with, with the, the stitching. stitching. Celeria it's stitching. It's like signature puffy. Fendi also for the back line, the Celeria line. Mm. And it also comes in a brown and it can be made to order in cashmere in different colors. Yes, did you guys know that? Fendi do made to order, ready to wear as well. And this is just one example. We have several st staple ready to wear pieces. Yep. Longer coats, trench coats, boleros. That can all be done made to order in different colors in cashmere. In cashmere. Great, that's good to know because I wasn't aware of that. So this, like, it's definitely different. I'm not used to it, but I do like it. I really like the pocket detail. So that whip stitch detail. Oh my goodness. I love this bag so much, but it's like 23,000 euro. But I really love it. Oh, decisions. But I can tell you for all Aussies, Fendi is definitely way cheaper here.
No joke, the best experience in Fendi. Any guesses? And then, yeah, and then go to check out this watch shop for with hubby. Some long ponds. Which is your favourite? Is the one that you wanted to try on here? This one's nice, but it's a bit too big. I think there's a smaller version, but that's nice without the sub seconds. What's the song called? It's the called the Villa Ray. Oh. Yeah. This is nice. This is the I think it's the event the Endeavour. Yeah. With the green. They're very unique because there's only a small. They're like 50, 60 workers in the, in the company, and it's just all what material is incredible this? Incredible craftsmanship. Yes. Yeah, it's really very unique. They say if you if you don't want to have a watch like everybody else, like Rolex and everything. Yeah. Um, uh, get a Mosa. Get a Mosa. Yes. They can immediately go all Yeah, that's a Mosa. Yeah. 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 So this is a Mosa and Company or Mosa and C. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so it's a very unique green dial. I'm not sure how they even make that dial. What is that dial made of? This here, yeah, actually I'll have to check on it yeah. for you, but it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's like a special dial. Yeah. Enameling or something. Yeah, is so this is the new Breguet Novelty. I think it's the new Type 20. Um, this is the Looks transatlantic version, I think. Mm. But yeah, it's got the slight, um, it's got the three sub-dials, which is really nice. I like the fact that it's asymmetrical. Yeah, I actually like something asymmetrical. I know, for once. Nice. And you probably like the colour of the band too, mm. right? And new white. So this is the other Breguet Type 20. This is the civilian model, so it's got it's got only two sub-dials. It, like it glows, it glows. <laughs> it looks like it's glow in the dark. I definitely like the other one better though. No, the other one looked way better. Mm. And this it's is the yes. Breguet Classic. That's right. It's got the Guilloche dial, which is really nice. And it's got the straight lugs, which are here. You've tried this on before, right? I have a long time I ago. I feel like it was with the brown crop. It was, or it was brown, gold, brown yeah. alligator. But this is very classic. I feel like very simple. Mm. So after watch shopping, Christian, my amazing essay, actually invited us to go to dinner. And the restaurant was right outside the beautiful Glockenspiel. As you can see, this is our view from the window. You can see Miss Pearly here, I brought her along. And it was so good. It was delicious food and we ended up chatting till really late at night. So I do need to thank Christian for his hospitality and just showing us a really good time. So this is Christian here and it was just the perfect way to end off our Munich trip. Good morning, my loves. So we are at the train station now. We are about to take the Vespan train from Munich to Vienna and we are going to try their first class section out though honestly there's probably not that much difference between the three different levels but we thought since it wasn't that much euros might as well so it's about a four hour trip and it definitely is quicker to go via train than plane for those of you wondering so I think generally with the general public seatings, obviously just close together. And I think as you go up, you get like a table and things like that, a little bit more space. So it's not that much more. And uh, I don't know if I can go down to the general seats to actually show you, but of course I will show you um, where we're sitting as well. So yeah, I love that in Europe, you can just train anywhere, train to Paris, train to Italy. It's just in Australia, we're so far away from everything. So here comes the train, so fast. It was the first time we've been on the Vespan. And here is what the first class cabin looks like. So more space compared to the regular cabin and we've got a table. So if you are traveling for a long distance, I would recommend it because it isn't that much euros more. So up next, I do have my Fendi and Chanel unboxings, but I had to show you this. Christian was so sweet. He even gave me this cute little Fendi peekaboo cookie, which was really yummy. And even on the bag, there was Fendi baguette charms, which he, you know, it's just all in the packaging, isn't it? So I hope you enjoyed this part of my Munich vlog.